Hi. Did Alexander Hamilton come to Thailand and fool around with Siamese sweeties? <laughs> Indeed, he did. But here's the thing. The Alexander Hamilton that I'm talking about is not the guy whose picture is on US currency. The Alexander Hamilton that I'm talking about was an English sea captain who sailed his merchant ship up the Chow Prior River in 1719. And he left some great records. He was a good writer and he kept diaries and ships logs and I've read them. It was a really interesting thing and guess what I discovered? Hamilton and his crew were pretty much doing the same thing us modern day expats are doing here in the land of smiles. Ahoy mateys. Yeah, ahoy is a good segue into what into one of the people I'm talking about. Uh, I introduced him to you already in the opening. That's Alexander Hamilton. I read Alexander's uh, diaries and logs from 1719 when he came to what was then called Siam, now Thailand, and he was a good writer. And here's the thing about uh, uh, about Alexander. He wasn't, you know, a, a, an aristocratic uh, member of, uh, of the Royal Navy. Alexander Hamilton had once been a privateer. A privateer is a pirate, basically. And they had a tough life. The, uh, so he was a tough guy. He was also a pretty good writer of his day. And he, uh, as I was reading about his adventures here in, in Thailand, it, it, it became clear to me that the relationship us modern day expats traveling around this country are having uh, in, in these modern times isn't all that much different than Alexander and his men. Hamilton's logbook for Siam, Thailand, begins when he's approaching uh, the bar of, of Siam, he called it, which as far as I could figure out is off the coast of Pattaya, out in the middle of the Gulf of Thailand. Hamilton proceeded up the Chow Prai River to the capital of Ayutthaya. The capital of Siam at the time was Ayutthaya. And that's where I am now. Hamilton came up this river behind me. It was called the Menom River back then. Now it's the Chow Prai River, and it's, it's central to the development of Thailand. Captain Hamilton arrived here in Ayutthaya. He was disappointed to find the Dutch were already here. They had established a trading post, the foundation of which is behind me. They had been here for 14 years when Captain Hamilton had arrived. They established this trading post in 1602. The Dutch were all over this region training all manner of goods. They were kind of Europe's first capitalists, and they were good at it. When Hamilton and his crew had arrived in Ayutthaya, he had made the following observation. The country is low and as fruitful as any spot of ground in the entire world, and the river abounds in many species of excellent fish, which are plentiful and indulge the inhabitants and make them indolent and lazy and consequently proud, superstitious, and wanton. I had to look up wanton. It means uh, the girls were available. <laughs> it's another word for promiscuous, I guess. And what struck me from that passage and a few others is the, uh, the kind of hubris, the pride, the, the, the arrogance of of the Westerner, 
in an ancient culture that they didn't really understand. Although Hamilton was a pretty smart guy, and from his writings, I saw that he he did uh, he did acquiesce to, uh, to, to to different cultures, but he still had that kind of Western arrogance. You could pick it up in his references to religions and customs, and you know they just think they're better. And 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 what struck me is that the ties know how to take advantage of that. The ties are humble with each other. They're humble, friendly, and kind to one another, so they have no problem flattering and, and indulging in a little bit of, uh, of, of, of humble, you know, being the humble servant to these, to these arrogant Westerners to extract, you know, extract a little money from them. And that's, you know, still going on today. Now, the royalty of, of Siam and Thailand isn't going to have much to do with a, with a merchant captain or, or a retired fireman. Uh, you know, the, the, the royalty of Thailand are extraordinarily wealthy, and they're in a class all their own. You know, they don't hobnob with, with, with regular folks, you know, the way royalty everywhere. But the working class of, of Thailand, like I said, they're happy to play the role of the humble servant and, and flatter you. You know, take my taxi. I, you know, I'm a handsome man. You know, the, these kind of kind, kinds of things. Here's something that struck me, though, about how the upper class will manipulate Westerners as well. When uh, Hamilton observed in, in the several months that he was here another ship called the Carolina. And the Carolina uh, uh, had to take refuge in a storm. And it was a, it, it was a, a warship. It, had, it was armed. And the king of Siam was, was battling with Cambodians, and he wanted to enlist this English ship, the Carolina, in his war with, uh, with Cambodia. And the captain of the ship said no. And to his surprise, he expected pushback. And to his surprise, you know, the royal court was like, oh, okay, you know, this thing went along with that. And, and here's what, what Hamilton observed afterward. The king of Siam continued his indulgence to the company and their servants, in much affluence, carousing, and debaucheries with wine and women. <laughs> That's still going on now. And what happened is he, he indebted the, uh, the crew, the officers, the crew, and the crew of the Carolina to the royal court. You know, he didn't, you know, the, the carousing, the wine, and the women weren't free. And when they were in enough debt, to the king, he was able to make a deal with them, and he did use their ship to uh, help him win a battle with the Cambodians. So that kind of symbiosis is still going on in today's modern world as well. And I'm going to talk about that in some of my upcoming videos. The relationship of Thailand to Western countries, you know, wealthy Western countries, and how they've exploited that wealth to their own advantage through the kind of you know, kind of stuff that I'm talking about now. This, uh, uh, it, the rain is, you know, changed my plants here. I'm glad it's raining. It makes it cool. Uh, it, 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 it's, it's good for shooting, shooting pictures. This site is a UNESCO heritage site. It's one of several around here of the old kingdom of Ayutthaya. I came here a few months ago and did a photo shoot with my family. Uh, they, you can rent costumes and shops across the street and dress yourself up as uh, Siamese royalty and uh, take a lot of pictures. That's what I did. I had fun doing it. If you like archaeological sites, they are maintaining this very nicely these days. So I'm taking advantage of uh, the Thai's willingness to, uh, uh, to act as humble servants to uh, Rangs with a few bucks. And I hired myself a tuk-tuk to, uh, to take me around. And uh, here's my ride.